a big business for New York State. According to the New York State Thruway Authority, in 2015, these tolls made close to $18,500,000, which begs the question, where's all that money going? And could those tolls be taking a toll on local business? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Brazan joins us live from the base of the Grand Island Bridge with more. Josh. Jeff and Ashley, state lawmakers are introducing legislation to actually remove the tolls for the Grand Island bridges, saying they cause unnecessary traffic issues and actually deter travelers from visiting or even passing through Grand Island. You can see behind me here a little bit of congestion at the start of rush hour as people slow down to pass through the toll booths. And that legislation has some businesses hopeful more people will start visiting Grand Island. It's a dollar, but it's it's a lot of dollars. It adds up. Richard Benz owns Dick and Jenny's Bacon Brew on Baseline Road on Grand Island. In the nine years the restaurant has been open, Benz says the Grand Island tolls seem to be driving customers away. It's a summer and it's a Friday at two in the afternoon and it takes 25 minutes to get to the bridge to get on. It's, uh, you know, it gets to become uh, a negative. People are like, oh, we can't go to the island. It's going to be jammed. That's why Benz is hopeful a new push from state lawmakers to remove the tolls will work. Senator Chris Jacobs and Assemblyman Angelo Morinello are introducing legislation that would eliminate them. If that can't be done, they want to at least see high-speed cashless tolls, something the lawmakers say will fix the rush hour congestion. Which allows drivers to continue on their highway speeds and go under a structure which either, uh, when you go under it, charges you your e on your easy pass or takes a picture of your license plate. Benz doesn't think the state will get rid of the tolls or give up all the money it makes from drivers coming on the island but he thinks high-speed tolls would get people to stop avoiding the island altogether. So we just need better flow. You know, we don't need to, you know, stop everybody, make them pay to come on the island. You can just put it on some kind of an easy pass where they can just speed on through. The throughway system has eight of what it considers major bridge structures, only two of them, the Tappan Zee Bridge downstate and the Grand Island bridges behind me are toll bridges, and that's something that those state lawmakers are trying to change. Reporting at the South Grand Island Bridge, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News. Josh